Hi, I'm Josh Grab, and today I'm going to talk about a probability concept called expected value. Uh, what, what do you expect will happen if you do something uh, over and over and over again? What do you expect will, will be the average result? And that's kind of what we want to think about as we talk about expected value. Let's use an example that uh, is, is pretty common to, to everyday life, playing the lottery. Suppose you buy a lottery ticket for $5. You get one play of the lottery for $5, and you're playing a particular lottery game that has a payoff, if you win, of $1,000. That's if you win. What if you lose? You don't lose $1,000, you just lose $5. The $5 you used to buy the ticket, they just take that and keep it. The payoff, right? that's money in your pocket, we'll leave that positive, but the $5 loss, we should indicate with a negative. You're losing that. If you had an equal chance of winning and losing, right? you could play once today and lose, and play once tomorrow and win, right? and you would win $1,000 today and lose $5 tomorrow, and you would have a total of $995, and on average you've played twice, right? so you would have almost $500 per play of the lottery. And if you did that. That's not very likely that you'll play twice and win once. The lottery just, just it's not going to stay in business very long if that's what happens. If every time you played twice you won once. If everyone did that, the lottery can't stay in business. The lottery has to change the, the payout. Make it less likely that you'll win. Suppose the particular lottery game that you're playing has a one in a thousand probability of winning. This is, again, this is if you win, right? You win a thousand dollars. If you win, the probability of winning is one in a thousand. If you lose, you lose five dollars, negative five, you win negative five dollars, and the probability of losing is all the other times out of a thousand that you didn't win, 999 times out of a thousand. Well, let's suppose you played the lottery a thousand days in a row. You pay your five dollars and one time you win, one time, and you win a thousand dollars. Put your winnings over here. You won one time, you win a thousand dollars. That's one thousand times one. And you lost five dollars nine hundred ninety nine times. We want to figure out what your total winnings or your total losings in this case turn out to be. And then we'll talk about your average winnings or average losings. We do this subtraction and multiply that out and we get one thousand times one, five times nine 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 is four thousand nine hundred ninety five, but I've lost that in total I'm in the hole. I've lost three thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. But but that's not per try at the lottery. That's three thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars over a thousand 
plays, a uh, thousand tickets you've purchased. And what does that work out to be? On average, we've lost $3,995, but we played a thousand times. If we do that division, on average, we've lost right, three dollars and ninety-nine and a half cents, right? or we might just even just round that up to four dollars right? on average. Right? We call that expected value. If you play over and over and over again, on average you're losing four dollars every time you play. Right? You're, you're, each individual time you're losing five dollars or winning a thousand dollars. That's not what expected value looks at. It doesn't look at individual times you played. Expected value is more properly a long run average if you do it over and over and over again, thousands of times, you would expect that on average you're losing about $4 each time you play. Now, the lottery company realizes this. Every time you lose $4, they make $4. And they can continue to support their business and sell you lottery tickets, and occasionally you might win. Some people will win more often, and they won't lose as much. They might even have positive winnings over their lifetime. But there will be more people that lose, right? If somebody wins more than this on average, right, or over their lifetime, there will be other people to balance it out. On average, people are losing $4 every time they play this $5 lottery. And that's expected value.